What's up Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another episode of our Nervi campaign playing Rome 2 Davide et Impera mod and well in the last episode we did take Nometa Senna from the um, Antrobarch Confederation that had been set up by the Iceni. The plan is probably just make sure this Iceni army dies and then we're going to go after the Carnutes here and continue in our aim to unite Gaul under one banner. Um, we're already called Gaulia so that's always a good start. Um, yeah, the plan is really just to do that. We'll see if um, after that whether people want me to continue this campaign. I will then probably go into Italy if I was to go anywhere next because, well, we're very friendly here. Look at this wall of green we have surrounding us. Don't really need to worry about that. Um, but yes, I hope you guys are enjoying this Let's Play and I hope you're all staying safe and well in this uh, in this period. And, um, well, yeah, just that's about it. If you're new around here and you're enjoying this uh, let's play please do leave a like comment and subscribe I do read all your guys comments and also don't forget to check out the Paper Legion discord uh, which I'll leave in the description uh, below and if you want to get involved in battles that could go on the channel or just send in replays that could be featured on the channel um, that's the place to go right so the first thing I think I'm gonna do is move the scout out make sure we can keep an eye on the inservies because they are well they're kind of the problem of our troubles at the moment they're probably gonna be the next ones to threaten our um, our borders. I'm probably going to move this army back to... Hmm. Don't know. I'd like to move actually to the border. Actually, we could take this army out here. Why Why don't we think of that? Just take this army out. Uh, well, we can't. Can we reach it now? We can. Excellent. So we can destroy this Iceni the army. Um, we're trespassing on the Carnutes. I'm not so fussed about trespassing on the Carnutes. They're going to die anyway. Um, we'll release them because there's no way they can get back to... Well, anywhere. Um, yeah, you can stay there in that bit of land. You can suck some um, food from the Carnutes for a bit. And I'm going to put... Uh, Rapine Plunderers to take less losses when, under, uh, when we're sieging someone out. Uh, and then I think we're kind of done here. I could upgrade some stuff. Don't really want to upgrade anything here. Public order is not great. Public order could do with improving here as well. That actually won't improve public order. So there's no point doing that. Vasontio, again, nothing really to upgrade. And then this one's only do doing okay for public order as well. I actually might upgrade... This is going to go to minus four. We are plus six. Now I'll leave that for now as well. We're, we're pretty good on everything. Economy could do with a bit of an upgrade, but we can do that with some expansion. So we will end the turn and we will see what happens. Hopefully we find Rome soon. I'm interested to see how Rome are doing. Also I'm quite interested at the Aedy, who are an ally of mine. They're not doing... They're okay. They've got a full stack, but I mean... I'd hoping they were going to expand a little bit, maybe do some damage, but uh, clearly not. So maybe we we're best uh, cutting all ties with them. I am more friendly, obviously, with the Germanic factions as we are about to see here. Are they? They seem like they might be at war. Ah, they are at war. The Arvani are at war with these guys. Well, I might be happy with just taking the Arva the Arvani taking the Aedu out then, then having a big war with them. Um, yes, for 500 I will let you become a military ally. Does look like they just took out that small army that was literally just stood there. It'd be nice if uh, some of these armies just left my land's peace treaty with the Iceni. A excellent, this is actually what I want. Yeah, I'll take it for 600. I made a little bit of profit there. That's okay. That's good, because I didn't really want to have to send fleets over to go and deal with the, uh, well, in Britain. It wasn't really part of my plans of expansion. I was going to let them survive. Uh, good to see Kimbros is falling back into its own lands, so I don't have to worry about more food consumption from them. In Serbia, look like they're going to do something. Military access. No, I'm not giving military access. Because this is what happens. They start sending hordes, well, not hordes, but... Armies through your land and taking your food. I think he is going back the back to his homeland, but I'm not really sure. He's taking a very long 
route. Faction destroyed. Who was destroyed? Liguria. Ah, who were they destroyed by? It's Massalia. Okay. Well, we're going to have to fight Massalia at some point. Peace negotiate. Good. Um, that's it, really. That's all we've got to do. Right, I might send this army, since it's already here, might send it to go and have a look and see what army they have here. They don't have an army. Oh, these guys have taken it. Interesting. They have a large army as well. Well, I'm going to send this army up as well. That actually does make it go plus three. They're trespassing. They, I don't care if I'm trespassing on your lands. Could not care for one moment. Um, you can recruit. I'm going to get you... Well, our economy is actually okay. I'm not going to do that just yet. That's like a backup army. It's doing its bit. We've got the two main field armies out here doing their bit. I will probably go in with one or the other. Don't know. Probably with... Hmm. Probably with the main army, the bigger one. We're up to 12,000... Uh, 1,200 now a turn. That's good. Not as much as we have been on, but we are in like the back end part of the world. We're in flipping... Germania mostly, so there's no, there's no food over here. There's nothing here. And nothing's growing quickly anyway. What's we... What are we uh, getting? Ah, we're getting headhunt. So we are bringing down the... Up upkeep costs of our troops. So we'll end the turn again and we'll see whether we can uh, get any more diplomatic uh, stuff done. Don't think there's anyone else we need to make peace with. We're not actually at war with anyone really. We're about to go to war with a lot of people in a very small amount of time hopefully. Take the rest of Gaul out and united under one banner. And we're not even actually Gallic. We're Belge, which is kind of a sort of Gallic thing, but it's also not. They are slightly different from the uh, from the normal Gauls, I guess you'd call them, but they're not really. You could don't call people normal Gauls, Gaul, I guess. I'm I'm kind of wearing on there. Looks like um, the Swabia are not doing faring so well in this war against the Lugi. We are still at war with them. They're, actually, that's it. We're at war with the Lugi. So it's, it's war with someone we can't actually get to because of our allies, um, which is fine. I'm not too fussed about being near them. Don't really want to be caught up in that war. Um, you're at war with no one, so I don't even know why you need military access. So I'm going to say no to that. I'm sorry. I know you'd love that. But just go and invade Britain. You have access to the sea? Do that. On seasonal conditions. Late autumn, early autumn. Okay. Concealed army unit. Army discovered. Uh, that's not so... That's a bit worrying. But... And he could reach Octodorum. But we should be okay. I think they won't make any acts of aggression just yet. Let's attack this army. I'm going to declare war. My allies will come to my aid. He sent his army back to retreat. Excellent. I will bring my army up to here. One army. And then we'll go in with this army. Excellent. And I might all resolve this because it just seems like we've got a bad army here we're fighting. Um, and I'm sure there'll be a bigger battle we can fight. Or a, bit, a more equal battle we can fight that actually will be worth a contest and worth showing. And we'll just release all the prisoners. Right, let's take this province for ourselves. You kind of miss his head there. You just stabbed his staff. Oh, good, we didn't lose any units. I was a bit worried. Our mercenary units were very low. Okay, this one's actually got four um, sort of slots. Excellent. Right, I'm going to put in... I don't really want an outpost. I don't know really why we have an outpost here. I guess it's good for income. Um, local tradesmen. It's minus four currently, but that's mainly just because of other stuff. Um, hmm, what helps better with growth? That one helps better with growth. Put that one in. Put a local tradesman in. Gaul is mother to your soul, yes. Iska, okay. These guys are the... They're like the Irish faction, aren't they? 
Yeah, they've started to expand quite a bit. And possibly in the wrong area. But anyway, we are now at war with the Namnets. And we're going to take the north of Gaul for ourselves. Then we're going to push down against the Alvani. If they haven't taken out the AOD in any time soon. Because everyone is starting to dislike, uh, dislike me. And the rest of Gaul. You, uh, so they would be happy with the defensive alliance. But I'm not really wanting to... Uh, I'd really want you to join my confederation. Whoever this faction is here, they really, they seem to like, actually no, that might just be the green of the trees. Everyone else is sort of not really a fan. These guys kind of like me. Hmm. Let's see if I can get it for free. Nope, you're going to keep bringing down the price. No, that was your, your lowest price then, eh? Um, no, I will, I'm fine with that. Uh, I don't really need you as an ally just yet. Is this all owned by... Yeah, that's all owned by these guys. Is, is this a province or is this just like... I don't know. That might just be random land. Might be random land. Ooh, what's this faith then? Out of it, Britannic. That's a different faith, okay. Thought they were just the same sort of faith as the Gauls, usually. Um, let's put you outside. That brings you down to minus four. That's perfect. Good. Right, does mean it's costing a bit more food, but that's not the end of the world. Um, minus one banditry. That could be pretty handy. Um, campaign movement, that'll be pretty handy. Let's go with that, and let's also go with banditry. Bring down banditry a bit. It's not really a major problem. But I kind of like the other one, which is like line of sight, so we can see a bit further on the campaign map. And also, chance of discovering hidden agents and armies, very handy. Um, so, we, yeah, that's good. We've now taken another little province for ourselves. I might send this army down south just to keep an eye on the Inservi. Or Inservis, or however you pronounce their name. I'll just give him the order. He can do that in a few turns. It's going to take quite a while, apparently. Right, um, I think that should be it. We'll end the turn and we'll see what happens. But it's a good little start. I mean, this is a new province, I just remembered. This isn't usually in the base game, Ulio Bonner. But here it is. It's in there now and we've taken it. Now it's time to take Namnetum or however you say those that name. Definitely got that wrong, but oh well. We will see. Will the Arvani finally take out the Aedi? That will be interesting to see. Or will Massalia make a move? They're the last two powerhouses really in Gaul that I need to worry about. The Arvani probably have a better roster of troops being a, like a main faction. I'm actually, I don't know, Nervi are also like a main faction. You can play as them on the base game. You don't need DE, uh, EI to, well, the VDA Emperor to do that. You can just do it base game but they have a very small roster on the base game why I'm playing it with the, with the mod gave myself more of a flavor of what they have to offer okay I will enter the war on my ally side it looks like we're in a war I might need to send this army to defend sort of to defend Octodoron because I think well even more so now near new political appointment okay what's a local one of as Okay, cool. I guess that's intri That's kind of handy. Let's look at the faction. Uh, I guess it's like these guys keep dying, so they keep finding someone new to replace them to keep their like faction going. Yeah, I have no real need for you at the moment. I'm sorry. I am sorry, but I'm also not that sorry. Um. Can I get any? Let's see. I mean, I could get promotions to some people, I guess. There's no real need, though. Get you a promotion, I guess. Um. Let's give this person extra authority. We can get a promoted as well. That'll cost some money, but we've got plenty of money. We have money to spare. 
The 16 stack I'll send out, I think, shouldn't be a problem to take this on its own. And this army is actually pretty well um, rested up as well. Oh, we need cavalry in this army. I'm oh, we lost more cavalry. Didn't even realize. That is annoying. I could get those guys. Yeah, let's get this cavalry unit. Gallic, what are these guys? Gallic, uh, cavalry there, Luce, Luce Epos? I don't probably pronounce that wrong, but looks like we lost more cavalry, so we're going to need to sort that out. I've only got one spear unit in this arm. Oh no, two spear units, this unit over here as well. That's okay then. Um, yep, that, was, that works perfectly fine. Banditry in all provinces we can bring down. Uh, that costs three. That might be an idea. I've not actually done any of these over here, like healer. I've barely gone through the tech tree. Um, yeah, we'll go with a knowledge of the oak, because I kind of would then like to go for mint to just bring in more tax. Could be handy. More taxes are always good. Means more money for my armies. Keep moving down south, because we're now at war with this faction here. That... Uh, and then we're also at war with... Uh, actually, I can't see them on this map, but they should be. They should show themselves here. Oh, no, maybe they... I still can't see them even though at war with them. Ah, found Rome. Excellent. We have found Rome. Trade? Speak, for you have my Apparently, we'd be absolutely smashed by Rome. Ooh, I'm not so sure about that game. I'm sure I could do just fine. One small choke point and where I have to hold them. Um, really, Octodoron. I mean, it's, I'm not actually got a border yet with them. But you're not interested in anything with me, so that's fine. We found Rome. I'm excited now. I'm excited to see what we can do with Rome. Burn them to the ground, possibly. Kill them all. Okay, we could upgrade our barracks. It takes ten turns. And we get a lot better troops, though. I'm going to do it. Um, because why not? That will, That's fine. We can we can do that. Um, right, and then I'm going to keep moving troops. Well, yeah, we've got, we've got nothing else really to do. Looks like everyone else is pretty content. It's So this seems like a bit of a rebuilding what, rebuilding episode. It's got, not really going to be a battle, I don't think. I can't sense battle, unless the Namnets over here have a huge army ready. Which they quite possibly might. Um, they had two two uh, settlements. More than likely, they could make afford two stacks. Or maybe they'll recruit a load of mercs. Who knows? But we can trade in wood soon. We'll be able to trade in wood. And then iron as well. If we take cenobum from uh, the Arvani. But that is the mate. That is the cause. We can't get distracted by Rome appearing just yet. If we do carry on this campaign after the Uniting Gaul, and we want to eye up Italy, which is probably where I go for next, just because it's very rich. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh no, he disappeared. I might bring up the second army. See if I can lure them out. We may have a battle on our hands. I might be wrong. What faction's that? Oh, that's the Erevisky or whatever they are. They could, might take Istros from from the boy. And that's not good because the boy... Oh, my eye. Boy. Uh, right, so unse uh, we've got unseasonal conditions, more troops recruited, and some there. We've got Master of the Horse. What is this indication here? This means... don't know. What does that little icon mean? What does that little icon mean? I don't know. Does it mean it's an elite troop or...? I'm not sure. Does anyone know what that little icon means? If so, please do let me know. I'd be interested to find out. But we're going to send in my other army. See if we can find the uh, enemy army. It was somewhere around here. I swear it was. Oh, here we go. An ambush. An ambush, you say? Well, I'll fight this ambush. 
I will see what happens. Okay, I will see you guys in a moment on the battlefield for when we are ambushed. So here we go, we are on the march, unaware of what is about to happen to us. Look at it, beautiful, beautiful, here we go. Right, all of a sudden we've got troops we've got to deal with. Um, right, let's just form up here, cavalry coming in. Yes, our general is very much under attack, I know. They're going to send in their cavalry to die. Right, uh, it's archers that I'm most worried about. I'm going to pull them back over here. And then you go, actually no, go there. Then you come over here, you can deal with these guys. There we go, we contain that very nicely. Start shooting in the back of these guys, should get plenty of kills. Berserk is already breaking cavalry. I presume this is a really ragtag army. I don't care about you, advisor, either. Go away. Yeah, I'd say this is a pretty ragtag army they put together. I don't know. Eh, heavy spears here. Yeah, most of these guys are going to die very nastily. Uh, General, pop up a rally, why not? Pop up yourself a rally. Oh, okay, this entire like front line here was just not fighting. <laughs> Can you shoot someone, please? This unit here, though, is getting pretty beaten up. We've got to sort that out. But a lot of breaking here. We are breaking down a lot of their units. It's just whether we can free up some... I've got to just kill these uh, archers quickly. Right. Can you start shooting these guys? Start shooting all your men here. Right. Perfect. I'm going to support you. Like so. You go in there. You kill him. General, come around here. General, come kill this cav. Berserkers go over there. Is this a berserker unit that's fighting here? Oh, it's not. That's fine. It's an axe unit. We can replace axes. I don't know if we can't always replace berserkers, right? Uh, you go and kill those. Probably won't catch them. The men are wavering. I know. It's a sad sight. We're about to free up all of our troops here, though. Shoot the general. He's losing a lot of the units. Kill his cav. Oh, we did actually capture that sword, uh, that arch unit. Nice. Um, again, cavalry chasing me. Uh, running away, sorry. Can't get them. But we are bringing down those archers nicely. Nice and easily. I would have thought berserkers would have had an ability like... I don't know, go mad or behead someone. 81 men left, I don't care. Suppress advice, go away. I don't need to know about your advice. I can see men are breaking. I'm not blind. Um, uh, pop a, one of these, that'll help. I'll keep steadying them. Hurry up and kill. Is the general breaking yet? No, he's down to 58. It's not low enough for my liking. At least we caught these archers. They're going to break soon. They're also breaking. General's about to go. Okay, huge. Um, let's get you over here to support that fight. General's about to go. That's perfect. Um, start shooting these guys. Excellent. Right, so they're actually going to survive as this unit of... Axes, 61 of them left. Jesus. And they're breaking. They broke a unit of uh, 200 and something. Jesus, 223. Imagine being those 223. You're just basically cowards now. But yeah, there goes the general. That means the rest of the army is about to go. If we can just catch some of these guys. Uh, actually, can you start shooting? I don't know. Well, start shooting some these guys, please. I mean, these actually, these um, swords, not swords, spears are really good. 139, and they're, they were, like, holding for ages. They've been in the fight straight away. So these uh, heavy spears that they've got aren't, aren't a pushover. It looks beautiful, though. It does look goddamn beautiful, doesn't it? Let's just send these guys into going die. Um, are you shoot? Yeah, you are shooting all the way back at them. 
Here they come. They can just I bet they can sense the axemen about to come in. I would not want to be one of these guys. Here they come. Over the hills. Berserkers. They're going to kill you all. And there you go. They're probably breaking like instantly now. Get in there. Kill them all. Kill them all. Excellent. Just kill her. No, you get in there. Archers, you should be shooting. I don't know, someone like back there. Kill them. The general, is he just still chasing? Oh, okay, he's going to pin this unit against the wall. That'll do. That'll do fine. You keep chasing these guys. Finally, that last spear unit's going to break. Take it forever. Perfect. A nice little victory. That ambush did not pay off. Shoot these guys back here. Just execute them. Five, 156 of them left. That's too many. I wish I had Cav in this army. I really need to get Cav in this army. Maybe some mercenaries will do. Mercenaries seem to do so well for me. It's probably why I've won so many of these battles. Can you just catch these guys all of a sudden? I'm just going to speed this up for the sake of video. Yep, keep throwing your javelins or whatever you have. Slingers. Yep. Excellent. Yep, keep running away. Keep running away. Keep running away. Your general's dead. Chop them down, boys. Just pop at one of those. Why not? See the general in action, getting some kills. Doing his uh, kingdom proud. They'll break quick, quite quickly, I'm sure, and they'll just go over the red line, and that'll be it. Keep chopping away. I don't actually see many many of the slingers falling. I mean, they must be. The number's going down. <laughs> Still not broken, though. They've lost a lot. They're probably very quicker to cavalry. Like I said, I wish I had cavalry. There we go. Uh, just end it. Decisive victory. I don't really care about catching too many more. We've done enough damage here. They do look really cool, though. Those ones certainly... They're... Um, like unit card looks really really nice. They did have some cavalry, didn't do so well. But anyway, guys, I will see you back on the campaign map for what we our next move. So we are back on the battle. Oh, not the battlefield on the campaign uh, map. And well, yeah, we lost like barely anything in comparison. I'm gonna kill the captives, and we're going to uh, hunt down the remaining of remaining force. Let's go and see if we can find it. There it is. Let's kill these guys. Oh, okay. Apparently. They're well within range. I'm going to pull back. <laughs> they are out of range there, though, if they attack. That's fine. Can I? I can't do anything with the saw. I can't go into... Can't go into uh, force or anything like that. That's fine. Um, we should be fine just there. Can we get any cavalry? No, but these are the sort of units they were recruiting. They're a mercenary sword band unit. Are they heavy? I think they are. Um, no, I'm kind of happy with the units I've got. I know that they do the job. Don't need to bring new invasive species in spe species units in. I guess they are a species, the Gauls, but in a sort of a way. They're more of a people than a species. Human race is really the species. Um, yeah, I'd say unless Boy can get an army down here in like no time, which I don't think it can. I think it's in a two front war as boy and it is starting to feel the pressure. Um, so whether I want to send the army actually to Urbazis. Ursus, a Ursus probably is actually how it's said. Um, that might be up for debate. But I might be able to, I don't know, wrap up this campaign before um, the Erevaski get over there. So I'm going to end the turn for one final time. And we'll see if we can take out um, Namnetum and the Namnets or however you're definitely pronouncing that wrong. But who cares?
No one probably knows how to say that name. Unless you're from Brittany, I guess. You might know about the tribes there. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you have then please do leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here and a comment. Um, I always read everyone's comments and reply to as many as I can as well. Do love your guys support as always. I can't do this uh, without you really. Um, and we're growing very nicely day by day at the moment. Isolation is helping in that uh, in that scenario people are just watching a lot more stuff on YouTube it seems. So uh, that's always good. Peace. They want peace for 110 110 coin they're demanding for peace. Never. But yes, yeah, so uh, oh, it looks like the Rete. No, I'm sorry, I'm not joining that war. The Rete are gonna siege down Urbsis. Interesting. That's actually a nice little bo uh, block for me. Yeah, they're gonna take Istros. Did they fail to take Istros? They just sack it. They might have just sacked it. My agent has been found. Okay. Well, I'm not so fussed about that. I'm going to send in the fresh army to go and deal with this problem. Problem being a settlement. Um, then let's just camp. Let's send in the second army just to make sure it's going to be very nice and secure. And there we go. The balance power looks a lot more favorable. 72. We take that. We lost mercenaries. No. You bastard. Taking mercenaries from us. They are so good. I'm going to have to go back and replenish them. Have to go back all the way. You can go in there. You can protect it. Actually, well, we could probably just send you out there. Go and take take it out ourselves. Take them out ourselves. Hundred percent. Kick them in the balls. There we go. Executed. I'll release them and get a bit of wealth. There we go. Faction destroyed. Excellent. Right. Can we do anything? No. Right. You can just start on your way all the way back to here. Wow, what a way he's got to go. I, but I want to send him back. I want to get some more of those elite, uh, well, berserkers, basically. They're so good. But anyway, let's see what is here in Namnetum. Ooh, better cavalry. And cavalry is what I need for this army. And we can get chariots. Okay, if you guys would like me to get some chariots, please do let me know in the uh, comments down below. I would be interested to try them out. But... I'll only, I don't really, I don't know. I'd like to get some, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to get some of these um, Remy um, Maripos because they are, well, they're a Belge unit, Belge unit, and, um, well, they are, we had them before in our in this army, but they all died, and they're like a really good shock cavalry unit, I think. Um, what else can we get here? Oh, we can get some better spears. Oh, these are heavy skirmishes. They're not spears at all. They look like they should be spears, but they're not. And no better get infantry, but that's okay. I might get some uh, chariots. I'm be interested to try them out. And I could get even better cavalry if I wanted to. I am tempted, but not just yet. Uh, and then I'm going to send this army carry it on down south. There we go. You can go and watch Octodoron for me. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more Nervi action um, or more just Davide Impera action. Um, and until next time, Legionnaires.